In this video, JavaFX graphical user interface is used to control an LED connected to Arduino Uno. JavaFX is a Java framework which contains a set of graphics and media packages that enables the developers to create GUI applications. The GUI is built using the Scene Builder which is a program that allows us to create GUIs without any coding. Inside the Scene Builder, the programmer can easily drag and drop the UI components onto the work area, and the Scene Builder will automatically generate a FXML code which represents the graphical user interface. Finally, using a Java IDE, we create a Java project. In this video, we'll be using Visual Studio Code to create the project, and within the project we will create the controller java file which will be used to load the fxml file created by the scene builder now let's see how we can run javafx in visual studio code first we need to download the javafx sdk in visual studio code we create our java project then we add reference to the javafx libraries the jar files which are found in the library folder of the downloaded JavaFX SDK. Then we get the launch.json configuration file and we add the virtual machine args key value below, which indicates the path of the jar files and also adds these two modules which are needed for runtime component execution. Here I will give a quick introduction to JavaFX and more detailed of JavaFX programming for creating uh, more complex graphical user interfaces will be demonstrated in future videos. This program shows a simple JavaFX GUI. So here we need to import two packages, class application and stage. The stage is needed to create the stage on the graphical user interface. The class app here extends application, which tells Java that we are going to use inheritance in order to enable this application to use JavaFX. We have uh, the start method, which is used to display the stage. And of course we have method show, which makes the GUI visible. And of course we have the main method, which is used to launch the application. Inside Visual Studio Code, I've created a Java project called Arduino. And I've included uh, in the library folder here the JSerial communication jar file, which is needed to enable the Java program to communicate with the Arduino serially. And I've also, we have inside the SRC folder, we have our uh, control application called app. And also we have the FXML file which was uh, created using the scene builder. Before we can execute the Java project uh, application, we need to make sure that the Java project folder within the reference libraries folder, we have included the jar files of the JavaFX SDK. Also we have to make sure within the launch.json file, we have included this key value in the dictionary which uh, indicates the path to the jar files of uh, JavaFX SDK and also that these two modules are added. And this is the FXML file which was automatically created by the Scene Builder application. Inside the Scene Builder we drag and drop the components onto the work area. Here we are using a label, a text field and two buttons and we must add FX ID to the co components here so for the text field we've added the ID TXT blinks for the button we've added the ID BTN enter and also we've added the name of the event handler handle enter and for the quit button we've added the FX ID and also the name of the event handler handle quit now we look at the controller class which extends application Inside this class, we first create this object of class serial port. And using method getComPort, we indicate the serial port or the COM port 
where the object will connect to. Next we declare these instance objects and these are actually the the FX ID we gave inside the scene builder. Event handler handle enter is invoked when an action event occurs and namely when we click on the button. Inside the method we extract the text from the text field and save it into the string variable and then we convert the string value into an integer value and save it into this variable and then using the serial port uh, object we write to the serial port the number of blinks and send it to the Arduino event handler handle quit is invoked when the uh, quit button is clicked and inside this event we close the application inside method start we create a fxml loader object which is used to point to the fxml file arduino.fxml and then we load the loader onto the parent root object here we are creating a scene and we are setting the root onto the scene and then we are setting the scene onto the stage and on the stage itself we are putting the title Arduino LED control and then we display the stage and finally we have the main method here which is used to initialize the serial port in terms of baud rate and bit number of bits to be transmitted and also here we are checking whether the serial port is available if not then a console message will appear com port not available and of course at the end we launch the GUI application now we run the application and we have the graphical user interface so here we can enter the number of blinks that the connected LED will blink and we could also quit the application a block diagram of the implemented system is shown here the sketch on the Arduino was explained in detail in my previous video in future videos, more complex JavaFX GUIs will be designed to control the Arduino. Thank you for watching.